Hello everyone, my name is Maria Gonko and with my partner Amirana Baev we'll present you our final Java project in algorithmic programming course at the College of Management. So, let's begin. During our studies, we have made three dimensions maze game. For solving it, we have used some algorithms. One of them is the best first search algorithm, or in its most common name, the BFS. This is a generic algorithm we can use for solving any desired problem. Let's see how it works. The BFS gets a start position and a goal position, and search the shortest path between both. It works with a priority queue of states. For each state we arrive, we mark it as already visited, and check if this is the goal position. In case the state is the final one, we make a backtrace to the start position for showing the solution. In other case, we go to all the networks of this position and check if we haven't visited them yet. If the next position is already visited, we will check if it appears shorter path to the goal from this state. If such path appears, we will update it. If the next position is not visited, we will add it to the priority queue for the next move. All this is done in a loop till we find the best shortest way to the goal state. Now, let's talk about the architecture we used in this project, the MVP, Model View Presenter. This architecture allows the programmer to work with independent layers. Each of them functions separately. The model is responsible for all the background functions and calculation algorithms. The view is responsible only for the visual side. And the presenter connects between both of them. So, how it works? At first, the client chooses some action to do. The view sends a notification to the presenter with the desired operation. The presenter sends a command to the model. The model runs all the algorithms required and when all its operations are finished, it sends a notification back to the presenter. The presenter sends a command back to the view and the client will see the result on his screen. Now we go to the Eclipse. Here we can see our structure of the project. View, presenter and model. Let's launch the game. This is our Twiffy and Semester maze. First of all, we're going to generate a new maze. After we got the maze, we can play or even check the automatic solution. While we're waiting for the solution, we can also listen to some music. <laughs> And we got the Twitty. If we press the menu button, we can save or load a game and set the game properties. Here you have two different growing tree algorithms for generating the maze, two different solution algorithms, BFS or DFS, and two view types, GUI or CLI. We will set randomly properties. Now let's load a maze that was already saved earlier. We can also get help. Now all we need to do is only follow the coins and that's it. And we got a Tweety. Now we will show you how we launch the game with CLI after we choose it in the properties. Here is our command line. Let's generate the maze first. After we got a message that the maze is ready, we can display it. Here is our maze. 1 represents the wall and 0 represents the path. Now let's solve it. We got a message that the solution for anything is ready. Now we want to display the moves. Here is our way to the goal. Now, let's try to solve it again. We can see that the solution already exists. That's because 
all the solutions are saved in a compressed form in a solution dot that file. So we won't need to calculate the solution again. It's called cache. When we exit the game, we can see that all the threads are closed. Hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thanks for watching. See you in the next project. Bye bye.